right, all right. Here we go. We're back in it, back in it to win it. To open a Lost Halls, I'm not fucking with that. Holy shit, this one's been open for an hour? Is that how that works, an hour and 19 minutes? It's wacky. All right, we're gonna see what we can't do here. We're just gonna try to get into some fucking Tom Fuller. Can you hear that? There's like, there's a, been a cricket in my room for like three days. And he's like, hidden in like, this fucking part of my room. I don't even know how he got there. Holy shit, my cursor's on the other side of the screen. There's one of these things here. One of these alien things. But yeah, we're basically maxed out now. I mean, apart from like some mana, and then like, probably not gonna grab any life. Dude, I, this fucking thing is so annoying, listening to this fucking, listening to this goddamn thing. Oh, he just hopped in immediately, dude. You're not even, you're gonna call it out and not even fucking wait? God damn. Dude, they ransacked this shit. They didn't give a fuck. They destroyed everything for as many manners as possible. Fuck. Oh, good. I was not, uh... I was not in there. I want to... Dude, I want to do some manners. That's all I really want to do right now. Snake pit. I'll do a snake pit. I need some, uh... I just need potions for my other characters, really. Need some other stuff. You know, need some... See, need some UT items. Need some untradeable items. Some ultra tiered items. I don't know what UT actually stands for. I mean, untradeable makes sense, but like, here, here's what we can do. There we go. Boom. Pop that. Goes over there in the middle. Fucking explodes on him. White bag. No. Nope. Um, I, I had a bulwark before I died on my priest before. I don't know if bulwark is even useful to be honest with you. That dude is only going for T rooms. That dude is fucking plowing for T rooms. Definitely getting me up. Definitely getting some. God damn! Alright. Those might actually be good to grab. For, um... What do you call it? For that, uh, forge silver and forge gold. Maybe might be good to grab those. Um, so weird. It's like a hermit thing here, but it's gone. You know, like, you, there has to be something that, like, you can do to remove that shit from always popping up on the left side of your screen. It's so annoying. Alright. I don't want to be in this realm anymore. I want to go to a different realm. Dude, I feel hollow playing this game. I'm emotionally exhausted. I need a... I don't know. You get to that point where... In this game where you like max out some shit and you're like, well... It's over. There's also a fucking thing here. Where you're like, god damn, it's, it's over. Guaranteed stat pot? I think I'm always going in here. Or it's like, fuck, I've done everything even though you haven't. And you had like a bunch of goals later on, but like once you max out a character, you're like... Man... What left? What is there left for me to do here? Or at least that's how I feel. That's how I feel with a lot of games. And then I start doing like crazy shit, and then uh, I die. And I'm like, fuck! I didn't. I didn't realize how far I, I'd gone. I'm like, shit, dude, it's gonna take forever to get back. That was like with uh, anytime you're playing through like a long game. I used to do it with um back on the boys back when I was like 12. We do Terraria playthroughs. Get like midway through the game, and I'm like, fuck it, dude, just restart. Just do the beginning over again. I don't know why I enjoyed it so much. Enjoyed starting over more than I enjoyed fucking the late game. Late game shit was always really annoying to me. I don't know. It, it felt like uh, she got not like too complicated, but she got like too boring, I guess. Not really boring. I don't know how else to explain it, but there was something that happened with it. It just like scaled so much and it felt like a little bit weird. That's such a terrible way of explaining anything. It just felt like uh, a bit of absurd, you know? Like, everything just kind of like scaled a little bit too far and it's like, come on. Things were bad. I like the I like the realism a little bit more, I guess. Even if it's like, not really realism. But like, sometimes things can go too far. I guess. Where it's like, holy shit, this is just fucking nuts for no reason. Like, there has to be, like, some, like, an easy, explainable way, other than, like, shit got way stronger for no reason, I guess. Like, there has to be some sort of, like, power scaling for power creep. Like, not just, like, okay, new set of things that you have to get that's, like, everything is more expensive, or everything is, like, does more damage now. That doesn't make any sense to me. With, like, games or whatever the fuck, it, like, shows. Like, uh, anything like that. It just doesn't make sense. You need to have some sort of a some sort of a system, other than like shit's just getting stronger for no reason. It has to be some sort of pro and con for it to get it stronger. I mean, some shit can just literally be better, but 
I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. I don't know if this is actually good to use or not. If this uh this prism is like actually even worth it. It's fun to use and you can do some crazy shit with like bosses that literally don't move. But for like anything else, it's just not worth it. Ah. Uh, we just need to get an another character going up up and running. Here we go, that Dex Death. You love to see it. We're just stacking potions on potions now at this point. Potions on potions on potions. Fuck it. This cricket, I'm literally gonna rip my fucking ears out if I hear this thing. It's... I don't know how it survives in like this one corner of my room. It's like in between the glass of my window and like my curtain. And I cannot do anything about it and it's just there. And I'm forced to have it sit there. I need to do some Sprite Worlds. Sprite Worlds are like the vegetables. You don't ever want to fucking do them. Well, that's not saying you're going to do a vegetable. Like, you don't want to eat vegetables, but you got to at some point, you know. You can't be a little baby for the rest of your life. You got to fucking eat a vegetable every once in a while. Otherwise, you know, shit fucking... You get potassium deficiency, and then you get, like, fucking muscle spasms and shit. It's like, it's just not worth it. It's just not in your best interest to do that. I had a dream last night where I, like there was like an alternate dungeon where you go back and it's like the old Lime and the Sprite God boss fight for some reason. I have I have some weird dreams too where like uh, I do some pretty fucked up shit and I like wait but like it's explainable as like self defense. Like it's always explainable but then you wake up and you're like fuck. That was that was terrible. That was fucking terrible. But not much you can do about it. Is this gonna drop an abyss? It does. And I got an attack pot too. Two for one. Alright, we're getting a bunch of we're getting a bunch of loot now. We're just stacking potions on potions. Mad lab. I'll do a mad lab. Fuck it. I'll do a mad lab every once in a while. What's this one? What does this do? Boss will always drop a mystery stat potion. I can go behind that. Mystery stat potions are annoying as shit though. Take up so much space for no reason. I think I might want to buy some of those like forged blueprint things and maybe get like a, a forge or make like a cool UT item that might be useful. I think I might want to make a dagger actually because spear dagger is like not really that good. Well, it's not like bad, but I want like a change of pace, you know, because I don't have like any other way of doing damage really than spear dagger, you know, like I don't have I don't have a cool way of doing a shit ton of damage. It's just spear dagger and that's it. And maybe this prism, which like is very rarely used if at all so i want some i want some new i want like a cool new dagger or something i don't think there's very many cool prisms that like do damage i know there's that like encore one but i don't know that one is kind of like i don't know if that one's really useful or not i'm also wary about using shit like prisms that do damage or, like abilities that do damage sometimes because i keep on thinking it's like not gonna count towards soulbound even though it might, it just, I don't know, I have like a weird, there was like some weird shit that went down back in the day, if I remember correctly, where like, certain abilities wouldn't do, wouldn't get soulbound damage for some reason. I don't know if that was even a true thing or not, but I remember hearing that that was something at some point, and I was like, shit, I want to use like certain ability at a boss fight, I want to only use my first attack. So, like weird things that like do damage, but weren't like, part of a normal thing. Like, obviously the decoy doesn't, or like the, like for example, it f fulfills the requirements because the decoy doesn't normally do damage. You know, like obviously like a quiver would probably do damage, right? But even a quiver is kind of weird because that's mostly like not, it's mostly used for like applying slow or paralyze. Yeah, like the quiver does damage, right? But the decoy doesn't do shit. But if you add on damage with like a UT, it's like, well, is that going to count towards soulbound? Like obviously you can kill enemies faster, but... That gonna count? Oh my god, I almost just fucking died. Holy shit. That's why you don't wanna fucking hug those things. Oh, there's another one here. This is one I should like actually be using something like this. Send that one in there. See, that's how you actually play Trickster. That's how you actually play Trickster right there. Take notes. I need to fucking take notes. I wasn't even doing that. Trickster is actually really useful if you play them like that. If you actually play the class correctly, pretty useful class, depending on like certain shit. It's like a cool class to play. 
problem is it's not like as brain dead as other classes and it doesn't there's no gain for doing shit like that you know it's not like okay you get to do you get to like clear out a whole fucking room of enemies or something because you do so much fucking damage it's like nope you just get to like avoid taking damage a little bit more rather than other classes that can just fucking roll over an entire goddamn room instead and then the enemies aren't even a problem but I think it might be trickster might be useful for like later game dungeons who knows I thought they were really useful for shatters before they got changed but I think that might have just been because you can get to that one switch that you needed to kill because you can just teleport really easily god damn so this is a good use of the prism here the prism is really useful here for this boss fight like real good Especially since I'm soloing it, doesn't matter if there's even if it does fuck up soulbound, which I don't think it does. Even if it did, it wouldn't be too big of a problem. I would like to do a bunch of damage here and not have to second phase him, but all those all those fucking fire turret things just fucked me up. So it was an it was an inevitable truth. I pulled myself back up from the fucking by my bootstraps. We were in a bad spot when I killed, died with every single one of my characters. That was a that was a rough spot to say the least, right there. But we brought it back. We brought it back, and we came back fucking harder than ever. Even though we haven't, we have not come back harder than ever. Did I get an ink? I did. Got a wine cellar incantation and a double whiz. Love to see it. Can I teleport with this? I can. Okay, so now I can do something like this. And that should do a decent amount of damage to him, I would think. Oh, he took a little bit more to, to die there. Dude, this cricket, I swear to God. You're going to hear me fucking complain about a cricket the whole time. Because it's just so fucking annoying. There we go. I think I'm honestly just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to try to go two balls deep with that. I was going to jump back to the middle. There we go. I'm going to ring around the rosy. And I might honestly want to do a little bit of some different different tech here. Let's see. Oh, and then I need to teleport back over. I need to teleport back over. Whatever. Honestly, I think that did more damage than I would do normally. Damn. All right, decent. We got like a full but we have a full bag right now. And we got an ink. I have a few inks. I think inks might actually be kind of expensive now because um what do you call it? Because of 03. Now with Oryx 3 now. So people are wanting to do that. It's the cool thing to do. Bard. I kind of want to play a Bard too. And a Summoner. But like. I mean, come on. Like a weird class. I don't even know what the Bard thing even does. We're slaughtering these guys one way or the other. Those can fuck you up though. Before you were just like. The play was just. Alright. Sit on them. Just fucking sit on them. And that's it. But now it's like. Well. You could get fucking, you could get a face full of penis if you sit on him. Face full of penis. Alright, we should be basically good here. We got, being a, I mean, thank god I have a trickster. Because I'm probably going to need to get a fuck ton of decks for like all my other characters. So, and tell, like trickster is just by far the fastest, um, the fastest character to, to farm sprite worlds with. Because you can just teleport. So this, this guy is just going to be my pot whore to like get as much pots as possible. I think we're I think we're good for a banking sesh. Don't think it's worth it to carry this much fucking loot in one sack. Let's see what's the what's down here. Yeah, the corruption cutter. I don't know if the corruption cutter is good. Let me let me form a corruption cutter. I want to see what a corruption cutter can do for me. Don't ask what you can do for a corruption cutter. Ask what it can do for you. Didn't want to say it twice because it was annoying. All right. Now the only downside with this is that I can't put in the soulbound potions in here or the uh, these things. Yeah, there are soulbound. Oh fuck! I have so much garbage in here. Well, I have room. I have room with all these characters, right? I almost got to another character slot too. Fuck! I was like really close to getting to another character slot last um last campaign. But I didn't grind it out as hard. Holy shit, this character's slow. Yeah, I was really, 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 really close. But I just couldn't quite get there, unfortunately. Put that one in there. And then I guess we'll just put one of these marks in there. I have so much garbage in here. 
I also do want to get like some of these characters leveled up. I could put shit on this on the samurai. Like I could put a bunch of loot on him as well. But I want to make sure he's gonna be my uh, my next class. I'm gonna play. I gotta break a pace from uh, this other shit. Maybe we do. Maybe we do a bit of um. Seven eight. We are not seven out of eight. You see, it keeps on like accidentally maxing health potions. Like I definitely don't have health maxed with this guy. Life is an incredibly difficult to get. Not anymore, actually. You can like trade like two potions, two vit pots for like one life potion, or something crazy like that. That's where our society has brought us. And we don't, we didn't have death max either. I was like, damn, I already maxed death on this guy, but that was just a visual bug. Um, candy coated is actually useless. Yeah, wait, candy coated is so useless. Four extra defense for ten minus dex. Are you shitting me? Burst of damage to enemies within five squares and poison them. What the fuck? They made that so much better. Yeah, wait, this is just almost always better than this, right? Except this is, has like, whatever. And this one is just shit. Eventually, death like stops mattering though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure defense stops mattering. So you might want to actually use some of that. Let me see. Open the blacksmith thing. So we got, how expensive is this to make? Um, Two shots. Let me go ahead and swap over so I know. How, how much this actually is worth. I don't know if I want to keep an ink in my inventory. I might just want to sell it. Let me see. I'll look up Realm Eye real quick. Realm Eye. Let's see how much a, uh, a thing is worth here. Let me also look up Corruption Cutter. Corruption Cutter. Because I saw somebody else using it. And it seemed kind of good. Um, From Lord Ruthven's Cursed Manifest. Corruption... Corruption Phantom. Okay, so this is from the other thing. Close to cutting no matter. Dagger was the first available players to fire more than one shot. Dagger is affected by an anomaly in the game's code by switching another dagger and firing an automatic shot in between the use of the, the pattern can be changed. Slight is inherently better in a higher true range for both shots. Hit all shots, the Corruption Card has the highest DPS of any dagger, only be beaten by Avarice at around 70 dex. Um, what does this do? More damage. Fewer tiles. Okay. This is getting like really fucking wacky. So this is just like a D blade for a dagger. So this is even closer. This is like an even more balls deep weapon than what I already have. Has more range though and it has higher rate of fire. A 85 to 100 versus. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. What kind of. And it requires one mark of the archivist. So I have to do an arc. I have to do an archive to get that. I might want to go for it. I think it, it does. Say, they did say it has the higher, the highest DPS out of any dagger, so it is probably worth it to go and grab. I just got to do a corrupted library. That's how I died with my warrior. That's how I died on a, another character. I think or almost died. I'm really bad at, at doing libraries for some reason. They're not even that difficult. I don't think. Just that dude, like. You get kind of you want to like chase the fuck after him, and then you chase him into like a giant penis. Holy fuck! It's a goddamn party in here. I need him to sit on one of those. I need him to like sit on one of these things here. Here we go. Come over here. God damn it! And now of course they don't want to. Invalid target. Sick. These don't do too much. I mean, these do a decent amount of damage here. If we can get him to like sit on one, because the range isn't that big. Attack potion. Interesting. I'll grab that. Put that straight in the sack. Oh, there's a fucking ultra god here. Let's not fuck with that guy. Oh lord. Okay, that's where I that's where I need to nexus a little bit faster. I should first of all not try to plow through Godlands. That's how I died on my priest as well. Making the same mistakes over and over again here. That was just not that was just not worth it. That was just not worth it at all. Nest. I'm not fucking with the nest shit. The nest shit. Ooh. Boss enemies give 15% more loot. What if I do this and then I get that fucking white bag anyway? Didn't even need to do anything here. 
Well, here we go. This is what we needed. I'm, I don't think I'm going to do the secret boss here. You need to get it from the secret boss. It's not worth it. Just not. I'm just going to do the first boss and then probably dip out. Decoys are kind of useless for the boss here. So I'll just stick with the ghostly prism. Now whatever, I'll tab that. Maybe we will do a second one. If I run into a bunch of those squares on the way there, it might be worth it, but if I don't... Oh, shit. Damn. It's fucked me up. Alright, so when I'm in here, I'm going to want to use this one. I'm not going to want to go ahead and use the other thing. Because having decoys, even a shitty decoy that only lasts for like a few seconds is really helpful. Here we go. Now we're at the boss. He's immediately running. And this dude was leeching the whole time. Hey, is that the dagger that I'm about to get? It is. That's the one I saw somebody else using. Alright, that's the one I want to use. It doesn't look like it shoots two. It looks like it shoots like fucking 12. Holy shit. And it has good range too. I want that. Oh, I'm using the wrong thing. And I almost just got... Wait, what? I'm, I cl fucking clicked the wrong one. Holy shit. There's a book there. God damn. That guy's a rogue. His armor broken. Here we go. I got a mark. Oh. Here we go. I don't know why... I don't know why that one didn't want to join my inventory. Alright. Let's go ahead and try to come craft that other thing. Ideally getting rid of the, uh... Let's actually see. I don't need this. I kind of want to keep these EPs because they're kind of expensive. Um, let's see here. That is a mark of the archivist, right? There we go. We got that one in, in the sack. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see here. We definitely want to get rid of that one. And then the scepter is kind of good. I think the scepter is really good. Let me actually see here. We can look at this on Realmai. There was something else I was going to look up on Realmai. Yeah, inks. How much is an ink? How much is a wine cellar incantation? Fuck. The web page is fucking huge. I don't know where any of this shit is. Here we go. How much is one ink? People are selling it for four wisdom, so it's not worth much. Well, how much is a EP? EP for DACA. God damn. And the frozen ones are worth even more because they're rare. Let's see. Is anybody buying these for anything? For a DACA seven hours ago? I mean, that's pretty good and pretty consistent prices there. Um, I was looking for the scepter. Where is the scepters at? Where are the scepters at? Because surprisingly they buffed some other classes a little bit, I believe. So I think scepters might actually be worth something. Two giga life potions. Or never mind. That's a deck of potion. One. Okay, it's not worth too much, but I don't know if I want to sell it. So I think... Let's see, how much are EPs going for? Honestly, not too much. So I think we honestly just want to get rid of our normal EPs. Fuck. The problem is that we we need to we need more golden. And there's not too much golden stuff here. The fire thing I like. I don't know if I like this at all, but it's cool. So I kinda wanna keep it. Cause if we just get all rid of all those, we're still about ten off. So we're gonna have to make the decision. Of course the fucking thing is still Alright, I think we just get rid of that thing as well. And we remove one of those. There we go. I think honestly that's a worthy trade. These are just not worth it. Fills up some spot. We got one of these. Or because dismantling specific items. Oh, you have to dismantle first? Do I have to do one by one? So like... Now what? Oh, and then I click this. There we go. Oh, shit. That was cool. Boom. So now I have this. Oh, and it has a higher rate of fire, too. Nice. All right, cool. How does this look now? Oh, they just demolished this whole thing here. Unfortunate. Let me get everything working correctly. Get everything in a nice, nice order. Nice orderly fashion. There we go. That looks about good. We can just push these up over on the side here. Get all the marks and stuff here. All right, perfect. That's about the most amount of space we'll probably have in this entire vault for this point. Now I have this thing, which I saw a few people using, so I think it might be worth it. 
I think it's just more consistent. And you can like... Here we go. I think that's how you want to do it. Maybe there's like a different way you can do it. But apparently there's like some swap bull, bull fuckery that you can do with that. But two is just better than one. And it does shoot fast. So this is basically like the SIBO of, um, of daggers in a way. Yeah, you just shoot more often. You do more damage up close. It's just, I think this is just what you want to use. And spirit is a bit interesting. It also has more range than a spirit dagger, slightly. So I think this is this was just a good idea. Uniporn. That's an interesting thing. Probably shouldn't have read that. Also, I think doing coil snakes are actually good for that forge stuff that we just did, because you can get a good amount of what is that? Forty-five percent more loot. Why not? Because I think, like, um, all the UT items, all the shitty UT items, count towards Forge Gold and Forge Silver. So, you can theoretically just get a bunch of those and not have to waste any, like, good items. Yeah, I think this is really good to do. Yeah, wait, look, this one is always goes over to the side here, but if we swap and swap back... No, I think that always happens like that. There we go, now it always goes inwards. So, I think that's what, I think that's that, that's what I was talking about. So that way, inwards is usually always better. Yeah, because it's like, it's going to hit all of them regardless. It's like D-Blade, but it always it always comes closer. It always like loops back in, so it's not really like a D-Blade. The D-Blade is like, it always goes outward. And this one I think is what it's supposed to do, but you can like swap and swap back maybe. That dude's rocking some welfare setups. There is some tea rooms in this in this thing here. There's like a genie thing. But I haven't, uh, I haven't found it. Well, I've, some other dude found it one time. That was about it. They really reuse the ant texture, like the pet ant texture. I see. Honestly, it looked pretty cool. Can't even be mad at that. They, like, recolored it. Like, you see it so rarely anyway. That dude just left. Maybe he almost died. Oh, wait, hold on. This might have been something. Yeah, look at that ant texture. There's like some weird particle effects here. This dungeon is fucking insane. Scorpion. I don't want to take like all these enemies into the boss fight here. I'd like it if they would. Oh, you can like kind of curve it around too. Yeah, there we go. We should be able to like. There we go. Pull them over to that. It did so much damage. Alright, we should be good. This does a pretty decent amount of damage. And it has good range. I think this was definitely the right play to get. It felt a little bit painful to like destroy all my cool, all my cool shit that I had been saving for like literal years. I don't know how I got that many EPs. I must have been such a farmer. I had to have like two. I had two vault chests full of EPs for some reason. Just made no sense. What is that? I don't know if that's good or not, but it's a UT, so I'll take it. It looks cool. It didn't come in a white bag, so it probably was not worth anything, but. I mean, it's a cool helmet. Who doesn't like a cool helmet? Do we have two enemies left? Two enemies of Oryx left. Damn. Do we want to do an O2? I think we will. I have an ink. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why don't we? Why don't we round out with an o with an Oryx? Or not even round out. We still got a bunch of time left. Why not just do a, an Oryx here? Because now our set looks pretty scuffed. Well, to be fair, it didn't look too um, didn't look too pretty before. I'm honest with you. Did I pass up what we were supposed to do? No, here it is. I just swapped with something else. Ooh, look at that build, dude. I do want to eventually get 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, there we go. If we swap, swap, swap back. Now, okay, so it's like outwards. Swap. Now we do three. Now it always goes inward. Wow, that's interesting. So if you do a, um, an odd amount... It always, if you do an odd amount of, of attacks with a different dagger, it will always do the better pattern, which is interesting. Oh, there's a Peneract. I think a Peneract might actually be really easy on, um, on Trickster. We'll see. We'll see. This is a really good, this is a really good thing to use here. A really good at dagger to use here. Oh no, that's a lot of fucking enemies here. Uh, get over there. 
There we go. At least it'll attack one. Here we go. Final one. Go all in. Perfect. And he closed the round two. Oh, did I get nothing? Dude, I went all in for that. Got pee bags. Oh. Huh. Well, it was worth a shot. I was hyped. Got two pee bags on top of each other. They, you don't even get those little crystals anymore because the campaign's gone. Fuck. I wonder if campaigns are only for a week. If they're not, if they're for like two weeks, I think I could definitely get like all the way to the end next time. Another cursed library. So we should be able to kill these guys pretty easily now, right? Yeah, well, I think there was only two. Fuck, this dagger is a lot more fun to use, honestly. Yeah, this is a lot. This was definitely worth it. I was damn near sleeping playing the trickster before. Now this is like actually kind of interesting. Dagger was definitely worth it, I can tell you that much. Definitely worth buying. Or definitely worth trading my shit for. I believe. I think it's just better in almost every scenario. I don't even know if I want to use a spear dagger anymore. That's how shit. Like, I don't, I generally can't think of like a single opportunity where I, where I would want to use a spirit dagger. Like, ever. It just has less range. It doesn't shoot as fast. It does less damage up close. I mean, what's the point of using a spirit dagger when I have this? So, kind of, kind of shit. Kind of shit, to be honest with you. But, you know, it is what it is. Got a conflict blueprint last week. Conflict more rare IMO. The blueprints are are a little bit crazy, but you do need a bunch of shit to to do it. Because this isn't for that's forged silver, but it's not forged gold. So you need a bunch of shit with forged gold. But you can get some some shit that's like a really small amount of forged gold, and you can just grind it out. You can really grind it out. Like I'm pretty sure all the forbidden jungle stuff you can grind the fuck out of it. To get like all the shitty forbidden jungle UTs. I like give you like you know that robe with like no defense and like ten wisdom. That's uh you can probably just grind out a bunch of those, and those are technically um they have some forge gold on them. So that might be a that might be a way. I mean it'll take forever, but if you want a cool you want a cool white white bag, might as well. Yeah, I probably should be doing orcs more often, because it also gives you a bunch of fame. I think it is just worth it to do these. I wonder if other dagger classes have more attack than um, than trickster. They might. I think trickster is kind of like kind of like shits the bed when it comes to the stats for no reason, honestly. But whatever. I have a trickster now, so we're here. Because the other classes are stronger in like almost every way. I think like rogues are just better than tricksters and assassins or kind of just better than tricksters and assassins most of the time we'll see we'll see what we can do I'll have to look it up but I also kind of don't care that much because I already got him I already got a trickster one way or the other but it's too late to go back now can't like redo a whole class am I the first person over here I am you're like Boom! Could a rogue do that? Nope. Rogue couldn't do that. Good fucked. These things are always so annoying. I might actually get fucked up here. We need a paladin. We need a priest. We need something here. We need a hero. Oh. I don't know if I should have walked into the belly of the beast here. There we go. Now we're not weakened anymore. Just, yeah, this weekend shit is just so stupid. Like weekend quiet is annoying as hell. It really does require require a shit ton of people to get through to that. This is also gonna probably make me die more because I want to like get both of my both of my little sh shots in here. Well, I thought the same thing with the ghostly prism, and to be fair, it kind of has. <laughs> but at the same time, like it's not that bad. It's not like I'm just hopping into danger always. Say so, yeah, I say that as I'm just fucking literally jumping on top of the boss. Damn, I've been really unlucky with the with the soulbound shit here. Not getting, not getting the loot, not getting the loot I desire. Maybe spirit might be a little bit better then, because I get luckier. If I get luckier, I do more damage. So maybe the luck was would hold me out instead of the consistency. Yeah. 
Oh. I'll do a Janus real quick. I have the extra range now, so this is like actually kind of worth it. I mean, it's way more consistent, way more DPS, I think. I think I probably wasn't going to get much anyway. But it's better just to do it. I think I'll save one of these, some of these marks too. There's always like a Janus thing here for the final, or for the, for the alchemist guy. Boom, I can just teleport right over. Ooh, almost got completely fucked by that. Okay, holy shit. Yeah, that's a, that's a difficult pattern to, uh, to deal with there. Oh, he already died. I already got loot. Loot was waiting for me. You got a white. I'm not going to that quarter. Wait, that was grade S though? That might have been worth it. But I want to do O2. Oh, he's still alive. Interesting. Oh, we're right at the end here. Came in right at the very end. I'll pop open a wine cellar if nobody else will. Got a griffin? Might be worth it. See, we'll wait for everybody to get in. How many people we got? 30? We'll pop it. Why not? Got to use it at some point, right? Might as well help out people a little bit. Got the wine cellar. Somebody better say TY. This would have been so much more worth it if I was an assassin, but fuck it. We're here now. I'm in the front too. Oh, I'm gonna have to go in fucking deep then. Let's see. How's it looking here? Oh, we swap to this. Let me do that. Let me ring around. Get our DPS in. Don't even didn't even do a thousand damage. There we go. He sees him. He sees him. Oh, there's the assassins. Oh, I was using the T fucking zero. I was using the worst prism possible. Uh, oh, dude, that was a seven out of eight or a six out of eight. It's a fucking rough life out here. Dude, just get one of these. We'll get one of these decoys to actually go the right way. It's going the wrong ways too, because I forgot to do this. Okay, seriously, whenever this happens, I just just back the fuck up. I'll just break some barrels in the meantime. It's just not even worth it to fight him at this point. Like, going into there is, like, literally literally suicide. I think there is a priest there, too. But, I'm just not, I just straight up don't fuck with it. I'd rather, I'd rather just not have to deal with any of this. Because you walk in there, you damn near fucking walk into the Thunderdome. I can just teleport in. Make it a little bit easier. There we go. Don't mind me casually helping out the whole fucking, the whole goddamn crew here with that decoy. Doing God's work with that decoy. There we go. Get a better decoy. No. Oh. Alright. I'll try my hardest. Oh, I don't want to get, I don't want to get weakened. Getting weakened is like the worst thing for me to have, to have happen here. He doesn't even fire like a shotgun blast. He just fires like bursts of like small bits here and there. The thing is, you don't want to get you don't want to get slowed. If you get slowed, you're done. He's just like always on top of you. Oh, that was not the that was not a good teleport. That was not a good teleport either. Oh, we got our loot. I got one defense potion from that. All right, well, ain't no rest for the fucking wicked, dude. That was just some horseshit. Oh, pair of death. Some dude had a rune. He was prepared. I was not. Oh my god, I still hear that goddamn cricket. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna go insane. There seriously needs to be like a uh, a mark stacker here though. Like my my inven like my my inventory should not be just filled with all these marks. Like, my character should not have to look like this in their inventory. Well, to be fair, this is not even Mark's. It's mostly garbage. <laughs> we do a bit of hoarding. We do a bit of hoarding. Let's see, where do the boys hop onto? Top on the server. They're like on EU East or some shit. 
hop on the server and have to wait an extra like 20 minutes to get into a to teleport it's just better to play on like a more crowded server most of the time it was on a necro he's got the drip too all right well, let's teleport over to the uh we can just decoy all the way over it'll take a while but at least it takes it's faster than most other shit how much fame do we get for doing that nothing we don't get any anything for doing that don't get anything for opening up a wine cellar, dude. It's a lich here? Yep, I'll break a lich. Why not? Might as well do my job here. Not really my job, but whatever. Literally invincible right now, right? I don't, I don't think you can actually kill that. Oh, I just spawned a cube god. I made that cube god. I'll have you know that that was my cube god. Jungle, I'll do a jungle. I want to see if you can get... I want to see if there's like... um, If it's just forged silver or forged gold that you can get for these UTs. Because this might actually be worth it to do these now. There you go, look. He's going to get so fucked. Yep, he, was, he, he, was, he wasn't even fucking ready. He just gave up. Well, I wouldn't know because I didn't get anything there. But presumably one of those UTs is worth something. For some reason, I had like a really big obsession with getting the staff, like the UT staff. Like, I would always get a necromancer and just get the full fucking the full set. I wouldn't use like the robe obviously because the robe is shit, but like I would get the full fucking the full UT set from those, and I would like yeah, I'd even be like max level and still just fucking be plowing through forbidden jungles, just because I wanted the set so much. The staff was legitimately good. It did a good amount of damage and it like has a higher rate of fire too. The staff is good. The other shit is terrible. 21 seconds. Shit. Well, that guy's probably not going to sit at that Puppet Master's Theater for 21 seconds. That's a huge green fucking circle. That guy might wait at it for at least two seconds. No, probably at least eight. Probably not at least eight. There's another Godlands here. Yeah, holy shit. This guy's still here? No, he's not. Well, let's just TP to the boy. What is that? What is that set, man? You can't be rocking that. We gotta get you some better shit, dude. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to be to be rocking that, dude. What are those things? Those are like the summer things, right? I think. Maybe. Alright, I need to find some... Oh. Mm, it's just the XP. I'm hopping in one of these. Let's see if the dude wants to hop in. Let's see. He hopping in here with me? He wants to do a sprite world with me? Nope, he does not. He's nowhere to be seen. He's just fucking gone. Uh, let's see if I can do this a little bit faster now that I have this new dagger. Theoretically, I should be able to. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's a lot, a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> that's like actually like night and day difference. God damn. That was a good, that was actually like real fucking fast. Is this guy max dex? There's no way. Maybe. I need to like peep his stats. Oh, is he hopping in there? I'll hop in. He's gotta be needing dex. There's no way this man doesn't need dex. Oh, that guy just cheat? No, he's a trickster as well. He said B. Called out the boss. In a sprite world. Boom. That was like, we're, we're fucking, fucking bullet timing this shit. Rapid fire. 16 in the clip, one in the chamber. We're jumping straight in left and right. All right, now this is where we need to find a manor. Now they're on the outskirts. Might as well take advantage of this opportunity. Try to find a, a manor of immortals here. After we kill one of these guys. Those are just those are like the mini the mini tests to see if you can um see if you can do that other shit to see if you can what do you call it see if you can out DPS their healing it's not as as big of a deal as the um what do you call them the dudes the golems the stone golems or whatever the titans those guys are way more difficult than these but it's still cool to like fuck them up it's like yeah I out DPS them right as soon as they were about to heal just popped them. Popped him right. Call M Woods, please. People like their magic woods. 
Magic Wood's difficult as hell. Oh, there's a hermit. I'm actually like right here. I don't mind if I do. Alright, this is not what you want to do. You do not want to like plow straight through Godlands through this. Oh, he went, he teleported straight to me as well. That poor soul. Oh, there's a paladin. Hold on. We're good. Paladin, instantly good. We can do, we can do God's work here then. Here we go. Here we go. I'll get that pally buff and we should be good. I got nothing? Didn't get a damn thing. What is this? Damn. It's rough. It's rough out here, dude. I'm not getting not getting any loot. Damn. Difficult. What is this guy? Salty Frog? He's a Sork. And he's using the uh the scepter. There's another that guy a warrior? He is. He's just plowing through. That warrior skin looks super cool. I don't really like the big skins that much, but that one looks fucking crazy. I don't know if it's always red, but everybody I've always seen is like always fucking always has that red shit. Always has that the red the red whip. The uh the dyes on like that. Like on some blood shit. Or like I don't, it has like that weird I almost said excrement, but you got you got you get what I'm saying. Definitely not excrement. It's probably not through here, right? There's no way it's through here. I'm about to asphyxiate. Oh, it is through here. Oh. This guy was prepared. Don't you try to hide down here? I'm definitely going down here as well. Okay, this is scary now. When you get armor broken, that's like... It's like get the fuck out territory. It's not where you want to be. I'm not going in there until, until you're vulnerable. There we go. Now we're in. I knew it. I timed it perfectly. ST. We got some sea silk. Actually good. That's good for um for feed power and for what do you call it? Feed power and for the gold. So I'll take that. I'll take a bit of sea silk. He didn't want to go into the trench. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, I don't think the cube man wanted to go into the trench. He drops a defense pot. Interesting. Everybody wanted to hop in. Oh, damn. Everybody wanted to hop in. Hop in the pup. Hop in the Puppet Master's Theater. Let's plow through here. Hold on. There we go. That's why. That's what this. That's what the Spirit Dagger has been. Uh, has been fucking. Has become. It's just another dagger for me to shoot once. And then swap back to the. Uh, the Cirrhosis or the Corruption Cutter. The Cirrhosis Cutter. Same thing. If you think about it. You can get killed very easily here. I should not be running through this. But if you just kind of stop thinking about it. And you go straight through. You know what's really going to kill you. Other than fear itself. Okay I was going to say. Is nobody going to TP? We're at the boss. Okay hopefully don't sit there too long. And like completely collapse. I have to be like so close to get both of these in here. Uh, I definitely think that's probably going to kill me at one point in time. Nope, I'm getting the fuck out of there. I do not want to get hit with a paralyze here. It's like basically instant death. Woof! God damn. Right, I didn't get hit like any of those hits in at the end there. Yeah, that was um that was unfortunate. I was doing decent, but it was just not, it was just not there. There's those, we could do a mountain temple. Yeah, it's weird how this always gives it a better pattern. It's not too good either, like you do have to be really close or you have to like do a weird like circle pattern to actually make anything, any use of it. Getting a sea silk was pretty good. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Got a goddamn swarm of these guys. Let's see if we can do anything here. I should not be going straight in for like the the big ones there. I need to go for the outer ones and then the other ones fall. And then we pop these. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it right there. What's this guy rocking? That's, he's a trickster too. He's got something else. I don't know what that dagger is, but it looks cool. Got that upgraded shit. I think this is still a good purchase. 
Let's see, versus like this. Yeah, this is like, this is so useful here because it's just that extra bit of range and it's like always worth it. All those drops, I'm like, wait, I got even, even got a potion in there too. God damn. Forbidden jungle, I'll hop in one of those. See, so yeah, these might actually be worth it if you get a if you get a good robe. Or if you get the, the robe or the other the other shit there. Let's see. We can I mean I should be able to like just cheese this whole shit by going over here. Oh no, that was the wrong way. This guy trickster? He's a ninja. Alright, well, we have a we have a fucking feud then. The ninjas versus tricksters. Boom, I got in all that damage first. Got all that damage. I mean, there's no way I don't just absolutely fuck here, right? Here we go. Okay, that is just silver. That's not gold. That's just forged silver. I think the robe might be forged gold, but I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure about that one. Got a weird name. Had to do a double take. Let's see what we can do. I need a... I, where's the manners at, man? I want to get a puri. I want to get a purification tome, bro. But I can't find them. I'm definitely looking in the wrong place. I just kind of run around this, like, weird fragmented shit land, and it doesn't seem to be working. I just hallucinated and thought that was a candy gnome. I've been hallucinating a lot recently. I have not been getting as much sleep as I probably should. When you're forced to wake up super early occasionally, it's like, well... Fuck it. Gotta do it at one point. Gotta suffer. Might as well suffer. What what am I to do about it? I'm, hold on. I'll do one of these. What is this guy's the paladin? Interesting. Crawling depths? I don't wanna do a crawling depth, sure. I'll do a crawling depths. I'll like damn near die in one of these. Why not? This is where we don't use the um this is where we use this. Or we do not use the other one. We do not want to fuck with the other thing. The decoys are way more useful than anything else. Wait, tea room. Oh, holy shit. Okay, well, he's already, like, fucking breaking everything. Oh, I didn't get, like, anything. Got a peeling icker. Or something. Zero. Come on. Oh. Two. Well, you can get potions from those? You can get, like, two potions? Damn. Okay. Damn, they really upgraded this dungeon. They made it, like, actually kind of worthwhile. These things are just disgusting, though, to be in. Like, there's just so much shit everywhere. You can get swarmed by, like, a shit ton of enemies and die. It's just not good to do to be in here. It's, like, the number one thing you don't want to do. Oh, this guy's already at the end. Oh, shit. I just anti rogue him a little bit. Boom, let's hop in. This is an interesting sound effects. Interesting music. Ooh. Alright, there's a paladin somewhere. And I'm just going to cling to him for dear life. Oh, I don't know what that was, but that healed me. Oh, goddamn, right on the fucking wild side. Jesus fucking Christ, this thing does insane, insane amounts of fucking damage. Um, is it over here? It is. There we go. Is that the Paladin? That is. I was just getting healing because he was using the Oreo. Alright, we're good now. Right? Yeah. Hop over to this one. You can get shit from those too, but it's kind of rare. Got an ink. Yeah, you can get incantations, I think. Just hop over that. See? Man, come on. I feel like I was doing a pretty good job there. I felt like I did a pretty good amount of damage. But I get t I get one mark and that's it? Like, you gotta be fucking me, dude. That cube guy just insta die? I think it did. Like, I thought I was doing... I thought I was doing God's work there, but I guess not. I guess fucking not. Dude, you always see somebody in chat, like, pissed as fuck. Whenever they get white bag trolled. When they get trolled. Subwoofer. That guy has a cool build. I don't know if the uh, the Ancient Stone Sword is even good. To be honest with you. Like if you think about it, it's not really that good. 
it's like just kind of slower and it does more damage but it's slow as shit so I don't think it's worth it maybe it is I guess it's kind of like Doombo I think Doombo is kind of worth it I think it's worth it for higher DPS or higher defense defense enemies so these are all just forged silver no no forged gold unfortunately forged gold is what you want you want to fucking absorb that shit like a goddamn vacuum if you can ever find any and then you can just get anything you want, right? Penaract. Where the Penaract? See. Well, I have no idea where it is, but it's somewhere. And there's a Sphinx. Holy shit. Okay. Well, these guys are going towards something over here. There's the Penaract. Oh, holy shit! This guy is on a fucking warpath. And the first, he's already calling out. He wasn't even there yet. No, I didn't get there. Fuck. Do damage to that. Alright. I need to sit by these a little bit longer. Do a bit more damage. There we go. And then we hop over there. Oh, fuck. I didn't get, like, anything guaranteed. Oh, I did. Nice. Okay, well, I got one. But better than none. Better than none. Hey, who's with me? Who's behind me? Come on, there's a pet there's a paladin in here somewhere. Hopefully I don't like instantly die here when he swaps to his next phase. Well, I didn't get anything either. <laughs> you don't even get any like you don't even get those like campaign points as a consolation prize. The campaign shit was like the coolest shit ever, dude. It's like oh uh, well I didn't get anything, but at least I can get you know, at least I have some campaign points. But now you don't even get that. You're just shit out of luck. Just go fuck yourself, buddy. That's about it. So. I'm waiting for the next one. I'm gonna go deep. I'm gonna go balls deep. I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna make sure I get a character slaughter or a vault chest, whatever that whatever's coming up next. What's this? Dimitus. I wanna do Dimitus again. I think this guy was kinda worth it. He was worth it to farm. The Abyss is kind of an area I don't want to be in, though. This was like the the dungeon you do not want to be in. Like, this was like reserved only for knights and badasses back in the day. But if you could do Abysses, like, it was just GG. Because it was always a death, always a death. Always a Vit, always a death. And Vit was difficult as fuck. Still is difficult as fuck to get. So you get one. You go, you go for fucking, um... You just, you get a bunch of shit, you always save the vit, you suck up all the death, or you don't, or you do one or the other, and you're just rich. You just waste a shit ton of your time playing Realm. But you're rich in game. And then you just siphon it, create more characters, and you're good. But everybody had like a backup knight. Your first one dies, fuck it, you got a backup one already maxed out, because you did a shit ton of abysses. That was it. Knight was like the most overpowered class in the game. And I think they made shit like stun resistant now. I don't see as many knights. Now there's a lot more variety. Not as much uh, prejudice, unfortunately. Uh, this probably could be a tier room up here. Do I want to go for it? Fuck it. I'll go for a tier room. Eh, I mean, it's like that was prime tier room area. It might be up there, but fuck it. I'm just going to do the boss. I'm not going to fuck with it. This could be a tier room as well. No, probably will be up there, but again, I'm not fucking with it. Snatch up these. I think the range is just the main thing that that really works here. Yeah, the range is like solid as fuck. I don't want to activate boss, but I want to kill him. I think this is worth it, even though it might not be as much damage as I was previously doing. I think it is still worth it. See, how would I do this here? Yeah, wait, that was pretty fucking quick. Like, it's still relatively quick, but not, like, absurdly fast. Who knows? It's about the, it's about the feeling, okay? It's about the high. And I think this is, surprisingly enough, a little bit safer. For some reason. I fucked up, I got the wrong pattern now. Now it's, like, going left and right. There we go, now we should be going in. There we go. Last, before I don't even really get much from this guy. Wait, let's take this. I made the mistake here of not grabbing my loot before and it like despawned. I did this guy and I got like one thing. I got like one fucking item and I got nothing else. 
and my bag despawned because it took so long to kill this motherfucker. I was pissed. Boom. Mystery stat pot. Bit. Well, can't win them all. That was a decent... That was a decent run, though. We got a bunch of potions. We got a bunch of potions and shit. And we got some, uh... You always want to keep, like, the Aspen marks and the Thassel marks, because that's how you get, uh... That's how you get... That's how you make shit happen. I'll drop this one in here. I'll just drop that. I don't really want that. Does this do anything cool? I don't think so. So I'm just going to ignore that one. Do we have anything now? We just need to, like, um... Well, actually, I can just do this, and then I'll hop back on this character. Go to the samurai. I am not max life and death. I don't know why it always shows that. I am definitely not. If I was, we'd be in a different spot. We'd be in a much different spot, okay? I don't know how how good the, uh, the samurai really is going to be, but we'll find out. This is how slow I have to drink them, by the way. You cannot drink much faster than that. Like, if I just... Yeah, it, like, it won't allow me if I try to go super fast. 4 def, 5 speed, 5 whiz, 7 dex. We're kind of slow as shit, though, right now. And this is on, like, the fast tiles. Well, I guess that is just compared to, like, the fastest class in the entire fucking game, though. So, not really too big of a deal. Well, I do have some of these. These Mystery ST shards, so... Might as well, eh, fuck it, I'll keep them in there. Grab these out. We're doing, I mean, we're not, we're not far from maxing out the samurai. And then I think I'll swap over to the samurai for a little bit. Play my samurai. Enjoy the samurai lifestyle for a bit. And then probably go back and, and then do the priest. And then, by then we'll probably be good. We'll be, a, we'll be in a solid spot. But that's for tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, bye.